How to do port forwarding on a Netgear Smart Wizard router. First, locate the default gateway of the router by right-clicking the network icon on the system tray and clicking Open Network and Sharing Controller. Click Adapter Settings and right-click Local Area Connection and click Status. Click Details. Now locate and write down the default gateway address and click Close on all windows. Open your browser and type the gateway IP address on the browser. Enter your credentials on this window. If you do not know the username and password, try the default user ID of admin and password of admin to see if this works and click OK. Once you have logged in to your router, locate the services link on the left view bane. Click add custom service. Now create the rule by naming it SSDVR. Keep the TCP port enabled and the start finish ports to 5050 and click apply. Scroll down to the attached devices on the left and locate the IP address of your DVR. Note this and go to the firewall rules on the left vein and click it one time. Under outbound rules, click add. Once this menu opens, under the outbound options, select the service you created and change the action to allow always. Change LAN users from any to single address. Enter the DVR's IP address under the start and leave everything else below alone. Click apply to save the rule. Under the inbound services, click add. Select the service you previously created and make sure the action is under allow always. Add the DVR's IP under the option of send to LAN server and click apply. Test the rule was created properly by entering into a port checker. Example, canyoucmeme.org. If successful, close all the windows and start using your subway surveillance system remotely.